welcome back to my channel wow i'm so formal today with all the quilio and everything anyways welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel i am novi and i do some random vlogs <laughs> anyways welcome by the way please don't mind my husky voice because i've been having you know cough and runny nose but i've been taking meds don't worry anyways if you're bothered by my voice i mean if you're not bothered by my voice just continue watching but if you're bothered then please do like and subscribe since you are already here <laughs> anyways today uh, i'm gonna be talking okay guys today i'm gonna be talking about my journey in akinsa so yeah I'm gonna be talking about my journey in Akadzok. So, way before I applied for Akadzok, I've been seeing their ads in Instagram, in Twi not Twitter, in Facebook, but I did not really have that much interest back then. So I just scroll up, <laughs> you know, social media time, me time. Anyways, yeah. But then last year, my friend Kyle, she told me that. There is this ESL company and they are hiring aspirants to become tutors without any degree. And their pay, she said, it was good. Their pay is good. So that picked my interest. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, that picked my interest. So, but then I really did not have that motivation to really, like, really apply because... You know, I'm an accountancy student and I was worried that it will somehow get tangled up with my studies. But good thing it did not and good thing I did apply. Because last year, I think it was last year when we applied for it due to the pandemic. So yeah, we've got time, a lot of time in our hands due to the suspended classes so i did apply for it <laughs> it was very funny because we when i applied for it i was not i think i was not uh, um, immediately accepted because what was the problem again that time yeah we just i just had a problem with the application process and i was like kyle you know long kumu apply <laughs> And Kyle was like, Hoy, ayoko biya <laughs> Something like that. So, yeah. I think it was my email. I haven't received any confirmation email. So, I changed the email that I passed to them. And good thing. It... Um, and good thing it appeared in the new email that I've sent. So, yeah. Application process. I mean, registration process. Done. So, after that, we've got um we've booked a schedule for a trade no interview we've booked a schedule for interview and i was very nervous that time it was my first time it was my first time having an interview virtual interview for that matter yeah and you know what <laughs> we had the same interviewer me and kyle had the same interviewer and mind you his voice was very good. I was like, Kyle, I think I have a crush on our interviewer. <laughs> yeah, he's really good. I mean, not he's really good. His voice was really good because we cannot see him. Though he can see us, but we cannot see the interviewer. So I just remembered my problem <laughs> in the application process was not the email, but rather the code. I think I haven't received a code from them. That's why I changed my email address. I mean, I think I think I made a new one just so that I can receive the code. So yeah. Anyways, we yeah, we did the interview. <laughs> it's so funny because I was the first one interviewed. I don't know. Kyle was the one who was interviewed first, and then after that it was me. And then the interviewer said, "Oh, I <laughs> I had also interviewed an accountancy student and I was like, yeah, that's my classmate. And he was like, really? <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. 
for that interview because we passed thank you lord anyways our interviewer said oh dapat ha because he was he was a tagalog and he said that oh dapat ha kapag nagkaroon na kayo ng trabaho dito sa akatso wag niyong pababayaan yung pag-aaral niyo and we were like yes sir <laughs> so yeah we did pass the interview and so we booked a training good thing i what i like about akadzak is that they really give you trainings for you to become better in teaching and for you not to be overwhelmed with the materials or like they give you an overview of what to expect with the students they give you tips they give you tips in the training on how to handle students with this kind of English level and this kind of English level because in Akadzak, they have like no limits in age. I even had a three years old um, student. Could, but what I also like about the students booking is that if the, if the child is still a beginner um his mom his or her mom or dad is by her or his side so that's good so that they can guide the children in learning english so yeah we've passed thank you lord we've also passed the training and here is the most nerve-wracking part the demo lesson i have a funny story about this demo lesson so yeah at that time we don't have the headset with microphone and that was what was required during the demo lesson so me and kyle we last minute decide we decided in the last minute to buy that mic um headset with microphone so her demo lesson kyle was the first one to give a demo lesson and then me her demo lesson starts at 10 o'clock and we are still at the mall at 9 30 still buying the microphone no the headset with microphone and so 9 45 we we are still on the jeep and then when we arrived in the overpass where we will be um going to my house because we decided to have the demo lesson in my house due to the stable internet connection so that's why when we are na ani sa sikat guys nag open si Kyle og laptop na siya sa sikat kay ana siya she told me that dili daw like dili daw dili daw mo start derecho ang iyahang laptop so we decided to open it up you know what we've signed in we are supposed to sign in to the um to the um platform at 30 minutes before the demo lesson 30 to 10 minutes before the demo lesson and it was like only five minutes left when kyle signed in and she was marked as late <laughs> so yeah good thing that she passed the demo lesson i also passed the demo lesson thank you lord again so yeah i am now part of the akitsok team so for my almost one and a half year of being with akitsok it's not all that easy I mean, it's not every day that teaching is easy. I really salute all the teachers out there because it's really hard, especially the elementary teachers, because it's really hard to handle children. I mean, they are so energetic and you need to catch their attention so that you can finish your 25 minutes class because you cannot extend since you have another student waiting for you for the next 25 minutes so you really need to finish the class at exactly 25 minutes yeah because for the five minutes you need to put remarks on your students like if they did good how many stars are you gonna be giving them in their fluency in english and their pronunciation something like that so you need to leave remarks and you cannot do that if you're gonna be extending the class for like more than 25 minutes and mind you i have students who are three years old and then what does a three years old do? I mean, they all run, they don't listen to you, and I'm like, 
why did the parents let these children come to classes? Why not let them enjoy their youth? I mean, three years old studying English and English is not their first language. I think maybe if if that was in the Philippines, I have nephews and nieces who are that age and then they are still playing, not studying. Oh my gosh. Anyways, yeah, it's very hard to get their attention. That's why teachers, I mean tutors, we prepare um, like candies or chocolates or cakes to show them like, Hey, I have a chocolate. Come here. Let's have a class. So, <laughs> so it was really not that easy. But for that, I mean, for this 1.5 years of teaching, I did enjoy it. I mean, there are, there are also students who are really, like, listen to you and it's easy to converse with, especially because we've got adult, adult, um, students. And, like, I even have, oh my gosh, I even have professional students, like, they are engineers, they are doctors, lawyers, I even have an auditor student, and we were like, Oh, hi, I'm, account I'm an accountancy student. Oh, hey, I'm an auditor. And mind you, she's an auditor at Ernst & Young. Bravo. So yeah, it was not all that easy, but there are really times, I mean, there most of the time I've got, I get to enjoy it. And also, one thing, one thing that made me also stay quite a long time in Akadzok is that they also give you some bonuses like we have completion bonuses if we've like if like we don't have any students who are absent or we don't have cancelled classes so they give us like 20 20 percent of our salary per hour so yeah, that was it. They've also given us like 1,000 pesos bonus every cut off. If, if, if in that cut off, you don't have any students who were, I mean, if you, if you have no absence, absence and canceled classes um, on that cut off, so they give you 1,000 pesos. <clears throat> However... This time, China has been having a policy changing. So yes, China has been having a change in policy about their educational system. And a lot of ESL companies, not just our company, but other China-based company, ESL companies, are being affected right now because of this policy. Because I think this policy is about China not pressuring the children to take after classes, after school classes, um, class. Because um, before China, um, China has this like after going to school, the students still have another private lessons, um, which gives burden to the family actually because they need to pay more so that their children can have private lessons and i don't think it's cheap that yeah so china is not pressuring their um students to take um after classes classes just like this one so that is why um we've been affected and i could so cut off our bonus <laughs> anyways I don't know what's gonna be my plan after this whole change but right now I am quite deciding to quit but I haven't quit yet <laughs> I haven't quit yet I've I've but I'm planning to but I don't know Let's just wait for God's plan for me. So that's it for today, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this.
<laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like and subscribe to be part of my channel.